Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be lifted up, ye everlasting doors. And the king of the gates. In Genesis 1 1, the Bible says, In the beginning, Bereshit, the Hebrew word Bereshit, which means started. The first thing God created was time, called gates. Before angelic beings. Because the gate marks the entrance of any activity. So the first thing God did was to program a gate and he called it the eternal gate. The, the first day was time. So everything that will be created will submit to time. So anything that controls your time controls your destiny. And the Bible said when he created this, he made the sun to rule in the day and the moon to rule at night. They are rulers. Now, this order was created after spirit. So when these demons fell from heaven and they wanted to rule this ecosystem, this cosmic world, all they had to do was to possess this gate. So anybody that controls your gate controls your life. If you're going to rule and reign in 2024, your battle must go to the gate. By her, see her time. Somebody will gain access. We're going to pray. In the few minutes we will pray. Something will happen in the heavens. And everything they have hijacked all these years that refused to drop, you will start seeing results. From the first day, you will start seeing results. Because whoever that controls your first day controls the whole year. So when any power of darkness wants to control humans, they have to control the day or the night no powers of darkness ancient powers occult powers uh, marine powers witches coven name them anything that is of darkness watch them they will always draw strength current from either the sun or the moon so what we call cycles patterns what we call bloodline patterns that happens over and over and over it simply means that a program was done according to time and time will keep running that program until somebody put an end to it so if you just wake up every day and cross into the new year like a normal person you will discover that that bloodline battle will still continue because gates work with programs but i came here to declare every demonic program that have been existing in your bloodline that nobody has been able to conquer tonight marks the end of it if god wants to deliver anybody what god does is that he reprograms timeline for you that's how god delivers because whoever that controls the gate again controls the people controls their destiny when satan was going to de destroy adam all he had to do was to disconnect adam from his immortality state because when adam had access to both gates as a man he was also a spirit he could commune with god that is eternity he could walk on earth as a man so god will come to eternal gates and talk with him and adam will go and do his business as a man so at that level adam and god were one so that intelligence was so much that adam could name all the animals who taught him that he was so intelligent he had so much wisdom he had what it takes to dominate his world and Satan saw that said no the way this guy is nobody can defeat him but what we can do is to first disconnect him push him out of this gate so his senses can be blocked then we can bring evil so God said the day you eat you shall die the question is why did he die physically he died a spiritual death what that means is that he died from eternal life he was cut out of the gate so by the time he, he was driven out of eternity he came under what we call the gate of time over the human realm called chronos chronos is what controls your daily activities and chronos limits you there are things you can never see until god gives you access to that realm chronos governs this realm your day and night and chronos has been hijacked by satan and that's why Jesus called him the God of this world. So you see why some people's prayer don't get answers. But tonight, we are taking the gate. Because of the privilege Jesus has given us. Without you dismantling the principalities of this gate, your prayers will go nowhere. Principalities are princes over cities, over regions, over families. They don't fear you. No. No. 
because they are not regular demons. No, they, they don't possess human beings. It's demons, it's messengers, errant boys that possess humans. Principalities are bigger than that. So you deal with a smart, you bind, you cast. The principality runs programs. They will just send another one. So that is the reason for repetition and cycles. Because what they do is to sit at the gates. And they'll send errand boys. And those ones will keep you busy. Keep you busy. So once you bind, they'll send another one because it's a program. So the only way to end it is to disconnect that program and dethrone them. Where the high priest lives.